Hey everyone, Matt here with another Let's Make a Tower Defense game in Unity tutorial. In our last video, we got things set up so that our robots were able to deal damage to our tower and ultimately destroy it once it runs out of health. However, it doesn't quite look right as there's no indication the tower is actually taking damage until it's destroyed. We need some health bars. So in this video, that's exactly what we're going to set up. Let's get started. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is actually get some images you can use for your health sliders. So I'm just going to go to my desktop here where I've got a health bar and I also have the filled version of that health bar. I'm just going to drag both the empty and full version down into my sprites folder in Unity. Now with those two files imported, we're just going to quickly do a little bit of setup. So I'm just going to shift click so we can do them both at the same time. Once again, I'm working with a 32 by 32 grid, so I'll set that up. I'm just going to make my filter point so that it's not blurry and change my format to 32 bit so I don't have any discoloration. With that done, we're ready to get started. So first off, I'm going to head over to my hierarchy here where we're going to set up our user interface. To do this, I'm going to right click. This time we're going to go down to UI and we're going to add a canvas to our game. I'm just going to name this one Health Canvas. And you'll notice that as soon as you did that, an event system will also have been added to your hierarchy. This event system is necessary and it allows you to do things like add buttons and have interactions with your canvas. Now you may have also noticed that when you first add your canvas, it doesn't feel like a whole lot happened except you might have noticed this little piece of a rectangle pop up on your screen. If you double click your health canvas, it'll zoom you out and you see a big rectangle here which actually represents your screen, though your game is way down in the corner here. That could be a little disorienting at first, and one thing I like to recommend when first working with UI is to grab your game view and set it side by side with your actual scene view. All this does is allow you to see the two interact, again remembering that this rectangle represents the entire camera of your main scene. So for example, if we were to right click on here now, and I were to add a UI image, it would show up in the middle of the screen here, which is there, and as I move it around, you can see it moving in that screen. That said, we don't want to add an image right now. Now, there are two different types of health sliders that we can do. One is a stationary one, which is what we're going to do in this video and will appear over our tower, which doesn't move. So it will always appear in the same spot. Later on, we'll add some that move with the characters and enemies so that their health bars follow them around. And we'll get to that in a later video. So let's head over to our canvas here where we're going to right click go to UI, and we're going to add a slider. This is a helpful component that Unity has added to just make life a little easier when doing health bars. And I'm actually just going to right off the bat here move it on top of my tower. Now if you click the little arrow here beside slider, you'll notice that there's actually a bunch of different things that have been added on here. We've got the background, which is going to be our empty image, the fill area, which is our color. If you click on that, there's the actual fill itself, which just keeps track of the bar moving across as you have more health, and then a handle over on the edge. We aren't actually making an interactable slider here, so I'm actually just going to get rid of that handle right off the bat. All right, let's make this thing actually work for us. So first of all, let's come to the slider here, and I'm just going to change this right now to, say, health slider. One other thing I want to do is if you take a look at my health bar here, you'll notice that it is 96 by 20. And so if I want to have things render nicely with the image that I made, I want to use that same ratio. And so when I go to my health slider, I'm just going to change the width to be 96 and the height to be 20. You'll notice that it is very little. And so I'll use my scale. I might scale this up about three times its size for now. Actually, while we're still on our slider, I'm just going to click interactable here and turn it off as we won't be interacting with this. And also I'm going to take the color tint. We don't need to have anything like that happening. It'll just stay untinted. It's normal color normally. And that'll close things up and give us a little less to have to worry about here. At this point you can fill what direction you want your slider to fill in. Mine's going to go left to right. And you'll notice with this little bar here that you can see it filling up and emptying as it goes. With that done, let's take a look at our background now. You'll notice that there is an image component on here, and I want to change this image to be my own. So I'm going to grab my empty health bar and drag it up here into the source image. You can zoom in, and you'll see that I've got my image in there now. However, my image is a little bit distorted. As you look, you'll notice my pixels have been pulled a little wider than they should be, and they're a little skinny looking and funny, which definitely isn't the effect that I want. So what I need to do now is I want this to actually fill the whole 96 by 20 area. 
to do this, I'll head up to my Rect Transform. Now this part honestly confused me a lot when I was first learning Unity. What you can do here is click on this custom stretch here, and you've got all of these different presets. But what we want is we just want our image to stretch to fill the area of the slider, which is 96 by 20. Down in the bottom corner here, we can click on the one that points with the expand in all directions. And then I'm just going to hold down the option key on my computer. I believe that's control if you're working on PC. And you'll notice that it changes. I can then click that. And now my slider expands to fill the entire area. Next up, I just want to replace this goofy looking little white thing that Unity has here with our own custom image. To do that, let's head on down to our fill. And we can grab our bar and drag it into the source image. At the moment, the sizing is all wrong, but we're on the right track. Let's go to our fill area for a moment here. And what we first of all want to just do is you'll notice right now the fill area is this little bar in here, which is not where we want it to be. We want it to shape itself to the entire slider. So let's head up to our Rect Transform. Just going to right click in the bottom corner here and then hold Option or Control and click again to have it expand. Now you'll notice at the moment that didn't work quite right, but that's because our slider is currently at a low value. And if I slide it up, you'll see that it's starting to get closer to what we want it to. However, if you go to your fill, we now need to also expand this one. We're not stretching up and down. We want it to stretch all the way across our sliders. And so again, we'll click on the bottom right, hold Option, and do it again. You'll notice that's filling in quite nicely. And so now we can slide around here with our bar, and you'll see that our slider is actually working pretty decently. At this point, we are mostly all the way there. All we want to do at this point, though, is create a script that is going to be able to change this value number depending on the amount of health that our tower has. For this, we can head to our scripts folder, and we actually don't even need to make a new script. We can do it right within our tower health script. If you're just joining us now and you weren't here for our last tutorial, we've just got a simple tower health script that keeps track of our current health and our max health, and then destroys our object if our health gets down to zero. All we want to do at this point is create a new reference. We're going to make a public slider reference. Now at this point, you'll notice Unity wants to make this into a slider joint, which is not what we want. And if I hit space, it's actually going to auto fill that, which is pretty annoying. I can also, I can manually go in there now and do this. I'll just call it slider, but it doesn't like that. That's because we are going to have to add a new namespace up at the top here. Namespaces are just additional libraries of code that allow Unity to do extra things. And so we could go up to the top here and go using Unity Engine.ui. You'll notice now it knows what the slider is as it's downloaded the library and knows how to actually do all the things a slider needs to do. At this point now, we just need to actually update our slider. So let's go down to our update method. And we're going to continue to always check if our health is at zero. But what we also want to do now is we're going to go slider dot value is equal to, and at this point, we just want it to be equal to our health. All right, back in UDM, head on over to my tower. And you'll notice now that my tower health has this slider slot here, as it needs to know what slider it's talking to. So I'll just grab the health slider here and drag it into that box. Now we're most of the way there at this point, and you'll notice my tower did go up to full health as it should. However, we're going to run into a little problem here when these guys hit my tower. Nothing happens until it gets to zero and then it fully updates. Something strange is going on. And what that is is just on our slider right now, our max value is currently one. So it waits until it gets all the way to zero before it actually updates. So we'll just pop back into our code here. And now what we just wanna do is at the very beginning of our game, when we start, we want our slider to know that its max value is gonna be equal to our max health. That way it'll automatically scale itself. And if later on we change how much health the tower has, if we were to change that to 100, it would automatically fix that when we start the game. Now, as the enemies approach, our bar should react to each individual hit along the way, finally destroying itself. Now, one last thing we could do is we might decide that we want to get rid of that health bar as it looks kind of funny just hanging around. So one more time, let's pop into our script. And all we want to do here is when our health gets to zero, before we destroy this game object, let's also destroy the slider dot game object. With that little tweak, our tower now sets itself up to full health. It reacts to each individual hit. And ultimately, once it's destroyed, it also destroys its slider. All right, that's working nicely. It would also be great if we could get some health on our robots and on our defender. And we also want our defender to actually start doing something. We'll get there in the next video. Until then, this is Matt with Nightrun Studio. Cheers.